In this video, I'm going to be integrating 21x squared plus 20x plus 9 over 3x plus 5 times x squared plus 1. Now, we need to spot that we need to be able to split this into partial fractions. So, for that, we'll have 21x squared plus 20x plus 9 over 3x plus 5 x squared plus 1. Now, the format is a over 3x plus 5 plus bx plus c over x squared plus 1 because x squared plus 1 won't factorise. So multiplying through by the denominator we'll have 21x squared plus 20x plus 9 is equivalent to a lots of x squared plus 1 plus bx plus c Lots of 3x plus 5. OK, so let's first put x as minus 5 thirds, which will knock out that bracket there. So let's substitute to the left-hand side. 21 lots of minus 5 thirds squared plus 20 lots of minus 5 thirds plus 9. And we get 34 on the left-hand side. Now, on the right-hand side, we're going to get, uh, in here, minus 5 thirds squared plus 1. So, 34 ninths times A, which means that A would have to be equal to 9. Right. Now, um, I'm going to let X be 0 to knock out B. So on the left-hand side, we've got 9. On the right-hand side, we've got 0 plus 1 lots of a, so that means 1 lot of 9. And if x is 0, then we'll have c times 5, so plus 5c, and so c must be equal to 0. Right, let's substitute in a number that's quite nice to work with. Let's try x equals 1. So we've got uh, 21 plus 20 plus 9, so 50 on the left-hand side. We'll have 1 plus 1, so 2 lots of A, so that's 18 on the right-hand side. We've got B times 1 plus 0, which is just B, times 8, so 8B. So if I subtract 18 from both sides and then divide through by 8, we get B is equal to 4. So that means that we have the integral of a over 3x plus 5, so 9 over 3x plus 5, plus 4x plus 0, so 4x over x squared plus 1 dx. Now this term, the denominator differentiates to 3, and we've got 9 on the top, so 3 times the amount that we need, so 3 times the natural log of 3x plus 5. And here, the denominator x squared plus 1 differentiates to 2x. We've got 4x in the numerator, so that's twice as much as what we need, so 2 lots of the natural log of x squared plus 1 plus some constant c. And so this is the answer I'm looking for.